the question what is a radian is an important one in trig and over the next few minutes I'm going to attempt to answer that for you this is probably one of the first videos you're going to watch as a trig student uh, because radians are super important they're just another way that we're going to measure angles you know we're all used to measuring angles by degrees but you know this is 30 degrees maybe this is 90 degrees things like that this is 180 but you can also measure them using radians and a lot of times radians is a little bit easier to use because it, it has this nice relationship with radius which is sort of what the word sounds like so I'm gonna record this one pretty quickly and then I'm gonna do three other quick ones uh, about how to convert degrees to radians and how to draw angles in standard position and how to how to uh, figure out uh, some other stuff with just some basic angle questions uh, and then after you watch those four you should probably get into the unit circle so first and foremost every time we look at these angles right we're often going to see that greek letter theta being described as the angle variable and what I want to do is present a scenario where this radius, whatever length it is, I'm going to set this length of the arc that it opens up to to the same distance. So in other words, the distance from here to here along that curve is exactly the same as the radius down here. And under that scenario, that's very obviously very unique where this radius is the same as the the arc that this angle opens up to all right that scenario is the only scenario where we can talk about a radian all right the radian is in this case the degree measure i shouldn't say that the angle measure that describes this scenario in other words, one radian is equal to the angle that it takes for this arc to be exactly the same as the radius of the circle. All right, so one radian is about equal to, and this is not uh, probably something that you're going to use a lot, but it's about equal to 57 degrees. So you can see that you know, if we multiply 57 by 3, we're going to get slightly under 180 degrees. And I'm sure that you know that, you know, this distance from here to here is 180. It's half of a circle. All right, so we're going to come back to this in a second and really try to hammer home, uh, you know, these four basic sort of points, right? Zero radians, pi over 2 radians, pi radians. 3 pi over 2 radians, and then back again to 2 pi radians. But before I do that, I want to show you this really cool animation that I saw on Wikipedia. So what they do here is they create a circle with a certain radius, right? Radius of r. And then what they're going to do is sort of transfer that up here, curve the radius, and then open an angle to it. All right, and that angle right there is called the radian. Two radians looks like that. Three radians will be just about 180. Pi radians is exactly 180 degrees. Two pi radians is 360. All right, so let's watch that animation very quickly. Again, I want you to really focus on the fact that the radius of the circle is being extended up into the length of the arc. The radius and the length of this arc are exactly the same. When that is the case, that angle that 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 angle that does that is called a radian. That's the key. Okay, so getting back to this, right? We know that the uh, circumference of a circle is two pi r. So let's assume for a second that our radius is one. All right, we're going to work with the unit circle for much of this unit. The unit circle means that the radius is 1. So then our circumference is 2 pi units, which means the distance from here all the way around is 2 pi. All right, well, we also know that 360 degrees is 
a full circle. All right, so my claim is that a full circle, 360 degrees, is also equal to 2 pi radians. All right, so what I want to think about now is how we can sort of get radians by itself and think about what it means to be one radian. We already said that it's about 57 degrees, but can we make more sense of that and get an exact value? And the answer is yes. So let's set up a quick little equation. 360 equals 2 pi radians, All right? So 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. Let's get rid of the 2 pi. If we get rid of the 2 pi by division, I'm left with 360 over 2 pi is equal to 1 radian. Simplify that and you get 180 over pi is equal to 1 radian. All right, and that's really the, the exact value of a radian. All right, and that's how we're going to constantly sort of flip back and forth between degrees and radians using that basic idea. All right, so now if you, again, if you wanted to try to get this pi over here, you can see that 180 equals pi radians, which you saw in the animation. All right, so we have a scenario, oops, we have a scenario where if I open another radian, it looks like that. All right, so that's another theta, or it's two radians in other words, so right here. If I do it again, it comes down here. It's not a great drawing, but I've got three radians. And then what's left here is this sort of difference, and that's where we get like, you know, you know that pi is 3.14. So this is like the one, the 0.14 in there. Because pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. Alright, and if you double that, you go all the way around the circle. Alright, this is pi radians, this is 2 pi radians. All right, and it all comes back to this basic building block where it's the angle that opens up to a subtended arc that is exactly the same length as the radius. All right, so the conversion is going to be in the next video. You know, how do we go from degrees to radians? And that's really the key. So we're going to use this idea that 180 over pi is equal to 1 radian, and then we'll also transfer that to degrees, you know, we'll say that, okay, one degree is equal to and equal to something that we get from this basic building block, 360 is equal to 2 pi radians. So now if we, and this time we divide it by 360, we get one degree is equal to 2 pi over 360 radians. And we simplify that, we get one degree is equal to pi over 180. Alright, so the conversions are going to be really, really important. Going from having the ability to go from one radian and then one degree back and forth, degrees to radians, using that idea. Alright, really quickly, let's just talk about the four m basic points that we're going to look at, right? We're going to constantly look at this point right here, this point right here this point right here, and this point right here. Right? And I'm going to put all these in, these degrees in orange. So this is, of course, 0 degrees. This is 90 degrees. This is 180 degrees. This is 180 plus another 90. 180 plus 90 is 270. And then if I come back around again, this is 360. Well, if I talk about these in radians, this is 0 radians. This is, as I said, pi radians. So half of pi stands to reason that it would be pi over 2. Pi over 2 radians. And so I've got pi radians, and then I want to add another pi over 2. So pi plus pi over 2 is 3 pi over 2. You can think about this as being pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, and then 4 pi over 2. We don't say it 4 pi over 2, usually we say it as... 2 pi radians. Alright, so those are the basics, right? 
this is quadrant one, this is quadrant two, this is quadrant three, and this is quadrant four. All right, that's going to be important as we come into our unit circle and we start talking about these reference triangles and 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90. But all right, that's the basic video on what a radian is. As we move forward, our next video is going to be how to do these conversions. So I'll probably use this exact notebook. Thanks for watching.